Um, but Meredith, well done. Um, Debs, are you you are already doing the recording? Fantastic. So a very warm and now hopefully calm welcome to Meredith Fierro, who is joining us here at OER20 for first online conference, but definitely not the last. I've seen Meredith present in person and we're in for real treat. So people, yeah. please give um, warm thoughts in the absence of emojis. Um, or hopefully you can try and find the smiley face when you go to your status bar and give Meredith a smiley face that's at the bottom of your screen where you see your own status. Um, give a very warm welcome to Meredith. Um, Meredith, over to you. Yeah, thanks so much, Mary, and I appreciate it. Um, so as Mary said, I'm um, Meredith Fierro. I'm the Interim Customer Support Manager at Reclaim Hosting. Um, and before I dive too, too deep into my presentation, I just want to give a quick thank you to everyone at ALT and OER20 committee and co-chairs um, for this awesome, incredibly hard work you guys done, you guys put on um, to move this conference online. I know that wasn't such a, a small feat to do, so um, the effort is greatly appreciated. It's been so seamless so far. So I'm ready for the rest of day two um, and my presentation. Um, and I do have one other quick note um, to say um, before I do dive in. Um, Jim Groom, Lauren Brumfield, and I recorded a supplemental podcast to what I'm going to talk about today. Um, and we posted it on YouTube. Um, so you'll see, check our YouTube channel and then um, the session notes um, for a link to that video. Um, we talk about some other stuff that I don't touch on in this presentation, um, given it's only 10, 15 minute presentation. So. Um, so with that, with those notes there, um, I am going to continue. So at Reclaim Hosting, um, we're all about data ownership and digital literacy. Uh, we offer hundreds of open source applications and in one-click installers where users can spin up WordPress sites, Omeka sites, um, splots, all sorts of applications within a matter of minutes. <laughs> with that said, learning a new tool like this, uh, like WordPress or Omeka, um, it can be daunting. Um, there's often no clear place to start. So Reclaim tries our best to um, manage um, the unknown of new tools and that sort of thing. So I'm going to talk about a few tools um, that we use as a team to um, create and cultivate a larger community um, that um, is centered around empowerment and learning. Um, so over the last four months, um, I've been working to develop this sort of support infrastructure and community um, that's conscious um, of, about the community and learn while fostering learning. Um, but I say four months because I've only been in the customer support manager position for that long. Um, I've been at Reclaim for three years, but it's but the ethos of Reclaim is the community and fostering learning and empowerment. So we're all really about teaching and we're really about teaching a man to fish um, so that they can then teach someone else and spread knowledge through their newfound learning. Um, so at Reclaim, um, we have a staff of seven um, and we've scaled our support resources, resources to serve a larger online community that spans across our shared hosting users, even domain zone institutions where the administrators then support their community on their campus. So the community is even bigger than just our small um, small shared hosting and domain of one's own. It really, it grows exponentially. So let me just switch the slide really quick. So um, there's five tools on the screen, but I'm really only gonna talk about three of those tools today. Um, Slack and Zendesk are more um, of our day-to-day -day internal use. Um, within the company. Slack is our office. Um, we, it's even more so our office now that we've all kind of done this social distancing and gone remote. So uh, that's really just our virtual office space and we kind of communicate and check in on products, and, um, ask questions and that sort of thing. And Zendesk is where we um, communicate with the customer on the end user side. Um, we use Zendesk as an email support and it's been it's been really great to use, um, and that's more internal. So I'm going to talk about um, Discourse, which is that logo in the middle of the screen, um, Asana, and then WordPress as well. So we'll move into Asana. 
Um, and Asana is mainly used as our internal project management system where we keep track of projects across all factions of Reclaim from the sales perspective, support, and infrastructure. So most of our projects that we do involve more than one group within Reclaim. So it's important for us to manage and um, manage each task and project in tandem with each other so we're not, uh, we're making sure we're meeting deadlines and that sort of thing. So um, one particular project um, we do use a lot is our documentation project, uh, which we use to manage our documentation articles um, like you see in our discourse um, and websites. So as we, as we talk about discourse, um, we have two um, or two types of or two use cases of discourse in um, our community .com. Um, it serves many functions within our Reclaim sphere, um, home to niche communities where folks can come together um, to talk about different tools. Um, our internal documentation that we use to support our, our support staff um, to teach and learn, um, and they can learn new topics for support ticket scenarios and document um, learning and ask questions. Um, so this is our, our um, staff documentation. Um, there's general how-tos like you see um, adding WordPress admin. Um, and so we guarantee that our Reclaim staff has a good base to continue our, their learning and be encouraged to branch out to learn new tools, which then help our end users um, because we have that conceptual base to talk about and discuss new tools um, and as they gain confidence in learning. Um, so then our, our um, public facing documentation um, is home to that niche community, as I was saying before. Um, there's um, folks like Tom Woodward with WordPress multi-sites, um, Paul Hibbets who uses Grav and GitHub, um, and Alan Levine um, for slots and domain camp. Um, they have become major tools in our Reclaim um, infrastructure. Um, so, I'm sorry, I totally lost my um, So with these communities, um, they are drawing other people to learn about the tools. Um, some of the articles we have in the um, uh, public facing community um, is have actually been viewed thousands of times, um, tens of thousands of times at that um, on how to like set up um, GitHub with their uh, Reclaim hosting account. So p other people who aren't, um, who might not even be Reclaim customers are coming to our community site to be involved in those communities and learn how to um, use tools on the web. So um, speaking of WordPress, <laughs> um, we've got WordPress as the next tool in Reclaim's tool belt. Um, first, we use this as a way really to um, track personal learning within Reclaim. Um, I can safely say it's one of our favorite tools amongst the team. Um, each employee has their own blog and are encouraged to um, explore um, pieces of their professional life um, and career to document. Um, and it's become more of a personal way for me person for me to cur um, curate milestones in my career. Um, it also throws a little friendly competition into our team to race to see who gets to write the first post about a big event or conferences like this. Um, usually Jim and Lauren are the first two to go, um, but it's, it's a fun competition. We just chat in Slack, like, wait for it. We've posted, there we go. So it's been, it's been cool. Um, and in tandem with that, WordPress is also a base for a lot of Reclaim Hosting's infrastructure. Um, the front-facing side of Domain of One's Own is encased in a WordPress wrapper. So you'll see the, the, the screenshot in the back here is the homepage for the University of Oklahoma um, Create Domain of One's Own instance. Um, that is um, WordPress, and it allows us to easily manage users and um, log in um, and access accounts if needed. Um, it's also a resource for schools to be able to gather support documentation, which is the screenshot um, in the front. Um, like Discourse, the WordPress documentation um, is each domain of one's own instance of their, their support docs. So they have a base through 
um, the University of Oklahoma that created the um, set of documentation articles that provide a base for end users, and then they have shared it with the larger community. So school, other schools can then use that as a jumping off point to create their own documentation to be able to better suit their, administ their administrators and their end users. Um, so they're able to tailor that to their specific um, so in turn with those are those articles we're giving the administrators the confidence to be able to support their communities and then the reclaim community then grows tenfold um, on top of that so um, and with that um, with those bases and those tools um, the community becomes it becomes a little easier to manage and cultivate um, and it also stem, stems from the amazing minds that put this together. Um, and I'm honored to get to play a role within um, the content and um, creating um, the community and cultivating and fostering learner, learning. Um, so I do have a few additional resources that I've linked here. Um, I am going to put this on my blog so you can um, go in and see um, the different um, so I've linked to um, a great resource that Lauren um, created for administrators. That's an onboarding of Domain of One's Own. Um, also a Domain of One's Own landing page um, that links to each tool. Um, and then the documentation page, the podcast, and the three um, additional tools that I talked about. So um, this will all be on the blog again, but that's all I've got. So if anybody has any questions, happy to take some now. So. Hey Meredith, it's Maren here. Yeah. Awesome presentation. Um, thank you so much. And I've posted a link to your blog into the chat just in case people can follow okay. up. Um, yeah, we've actually fun. had a lot of interaction on Twitter um, and it's been really interesting to see people interacting. Um, so what I might do together with Debbie, um, Debbie, if you're happy to have a look, um, we might encourage people to just use the conference hashtag to post questions to you. Um, or if you're someone um, who we can identify by name, um, please raise your hand and then we can try and give you the mic. Um, so for, for known reasons, we're not going to give the mic to people um, who we can't recognize by name. Sorry about that. Um, but if you do have any questions um, or you want to add something, um, please do raise your hand and we'll give you the mic. And I'm passing on lots of applause for you, Meredith. Lots of applause. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you've done an amazing job. Well done, you.